Okay, I hope this adequately shows Clem on his um, side. Now I take the long comb and I go through them like this and already I'm kind of stuck up in here. So I'll take the Safari right-handed for this, pinch off the area and go through with the with the safari and that picks up cuts the mat loose and then I take the slicker brush and I pull the rest of that mat out and there it is on on there then I go back with the comb see if I got all that out and the comb slips through easy so I got it and there'll be more mats in here now well, so far the comb's kind of taken that. And then I'll take the comb, or I'll take the slicker brush to take the, that off. If you get a big mat, let's pretend there's a big mat here. I don't know when I'm going to get a big one. But, um, you take the Mars and you dig through like this. Pinching that area off so the dog feels no pain. See, I'm using my index and my thumb to pinch that off. And Clem is completely comfortable here. And then I, I uh, remove the rest of the mat with the slicker brush. That's how I use a slicker brush. You were such a good boy, Clem. You are such a good boy. Yeah. How come you're such a good boy? Huh? You get to sleep. You get to sleep while I have to do all the work. No mats in there. Very careful under here. This is the tummy area. And the mats probably hurt a little more under here. Although all of their skin is very, very sensitive on a beardy. That seems pretty good there. Another uh, tool that I use to start out with is this uh, rotating tying. Um, tool here and I just go oops see and then it caught it caught right there so that means there's a mat there and then I take the safari and dig that mat out and then pull the end of it off there and I take the rake here go through So it gets right down through both coats. Up, oh, stuck there. So then I section that off with my fingertips so they, they so Clem won't feel the pain. Take that off like this. You need to make sure you get under the dog's armpit area really good and just don't let your dog feel any pain at all and then they don't mind being groomed and I'm doing them on the floor for people who don't have a grooming table you can do your dog on the floor if you don't want to get into that expense I have a grooming table and I like to work in both places. Sometimes I like to work on the floor. And sometimes I like to work uh, at the table. He's pulling away right now because of the sensitivity of his paws. But he's not being hurt. He's just um, 
He just wants me to be really careful with his paws. There's always lots of mats back in here on their paws, so pinch the area off and work the safari through. Or if it's a tougher mat, then use the Mars. And then use the slicker brush. And this brush pops up like that for cleaning. Okay, stay baby. Stay. That should get you started. Right, Clem? Right? Is it fun? Huh? Tell them it's lots of fun. And you don't mind at all.